Hey everybody, happy weekend. I'm Chanel Herlin and welcome to the new Music Buzz. On today's show, we are at the opening day of the final Vans Warp Tour, where we talk to Lil Erin and As It Is. Then we stop by the Radio Disney Awards red carpet and Cindy gives us a preview of one of the hottest movies of the summer, Jurassic World. So this is going to be a good one. Guys, buckle up whilst we roll that intro. What's up? My name is Lil Erin. Let's get buzzed. day in the music festival business as this is the final year of the Vans Warped Tour. The Vans Warped Tour is well known as America's longest running touring music festival of the summer. Since 1995, the tour has been a showcase for both established and upcoming talent across a wide range of electric subgenres. The tour has also cemented its place in history by bringing alternative rock and skate culture from the underground to the forefront of global youth culture, whilst at the same time helping those in need through non-profit and eco-initiatives. We attended the Pomona leg of the tour and talked to As It Is, who shared some fond memories with us, as well as talked about their newly released project. So let's check it out. <laughs> memories just come from like the friends you make you, you meet some amazing people some really unlikely friendships come from Warped Tour bands that don't sound anything like you crew you'd never otherwise meet um, and it's just the experiences like I mean just so many very surreal and strange nights uh, so many odd situations it's just like there's no real way to describe Warped Tour it's just so much fun and we're so lucky to have been even a small part of it so yeah we're excited to be back for the the last ever one it's crazy so we're playing two new songs from our upcoming record. It comes out August 10th, it's called The Great Depression. Um, today, here in Pomona, we're playing a song called The Stigma, Boys Don't Cry for the first time. Um, very excited for it. Um, but yeah, um, we're just gonna bring as much energy as we can to this hot, hot weather and um, try to have a really good time. I see the pain beyond your eyes. Together now, just try your lives. Cause boys don't cry. No, no, boys don't cry. No, no. Cause boys don't This record I have so much like pride and self-assurance in. I don't doubt these songs. Like I, I feel really confident. I'm just if anything, I'm just so excited to be playing these songs for the first time. 
We, we made a conscious decision in this band to not release a ton of singles. Um, I think you see it all too often in the music industry these days. You know, you drop a record, you've heard over half the record. We wanted this to have an old school feel. It's like you really, it's like Christmas Day. You're like experiencing 10 new songs you've never heard before. Um, so we wanted to remain really loyal to that and only release two songs. So those are the two we're going to play. Yeah, we dropped uh, a brand new music video yesterday for the Stigma Boys Don't Cry, and our video for The Wounded World came out a little over a month ago now, so those are our two latest. You can find them on the Fearless Records YouTube channel. After Warped, we do a lot of press, we drop a record in August, and then we're gearing up for our biggest ever headline tour in Europe and the UK. We're going to be playing uh, the London Forum uh, to 2,000 people if we sell it out, so uh, I'm feeling pretty excited for that one. Um, I come from like a background in social media and what, what I've kind of, I, I take a step back from it because it was like really wearing on my mental health, but it's the kind of thing where I read a lot more than I talk. I, I just kind of see all the positivity people throw my way into the band um, and it makes my day, it really does, but you know, being on it all day every day isn't for me anymore. We're doing our first ever double vinyl. I'm really excited about it, yeah. Um, yeah, we love vinyl. We love uh, the color variants. Our guitarist, singer Ben, he's, he's a big vinyl fan. And um, yeah, doing that stuff is super important to him and our band. And um, I love that like vinyl, vinyl is still like thriving, that like tangible physical music you can hold in your hands is still a format. I love that. You can find us everywhere. Um, Spotify, Apple Music, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff, yeah. Hi, my name is Patty Walters from As It Is, and you've just been buzzed. Later on in the show, we talk to little Aaron, but first, Cindy shows us a preview of Jurassic World at the Universal City Walk. She's dragged. Okay, okay, come on. Okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. How many can you save? Eleven species. Blue is the last of her kind. You'll never capture her. We thought you might know someone who could help. A rescue op? What could go wrong? Hi, I'm Cindy Kennedy Gomez with the New Music Buzz, and we're here with Rodrigo. And Rodrigo, he just seen the movie for Jurassic World, right? Yeah. Okay, so tell me, I'm about to go watch the movie. What can I expect? I would... Without spoiling, though. Oh, yeah. Not too many spoilers. Spoiler, spoiler free. Okay. I will say the trailer is kind of misleading. Uh, the story, it's crazy, it's insane, and I believe it's better than the first one, actually. And uh, if they're going to make more, then they can keep going, honestly, because to me, it'll be getting better and better and better. And this one was better than Jurassic World, I feel, in so many different ways. Mm. So you think that if there's a sequel, it could, like you said, it could continue going, like it won't spoil yeah, it? Like, you know, you have Jurassic Park 1, 2, yeah. 3, and then you have Jurassic World, and now this one. So it's a, it's a good franchise. Like, it can get better. So and from it out of all of the Jurassic Park movies, from like the beginning yeah. to now, which one would you say is your favorite and why, though? Why? I'm kind of tied between the first one, because that's what started it. And at the same time, yeah. And it's 25 years for a reason. And now, currently, this new one, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, I'm kind of tied. Like, obviously, you started it, I hope they don't end it, and who knows if they will make more, but these two are tied for me. But the first one started it, so it's originality and started the franchise, and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, it's super, like, suspenseful, and it gives you on the, keeps you on the edge of your seat. And how do you uh, see Chris Pratt? Do you think he did a good job on this movie? Yeah, I thought he was like his same character. It was pretty funny. It was pretty hilarious. And like how you see in the trailer, how him with the Raptors, like, that's like the best love story relationship in like any movie right What do you there. think about their love story between him and her, like their chemistry? No, nah, the Raptor's better. <laughs> <laughs> blue? But, blue? Yeah, blue, yeah. Because like it's cool because you see in the trailer, he's like a little baby. It's like instead of a puppy, it's a Raptor. Like who wouldn't want that? That's dope. That's cute. I know. 
like but a like, dog. But like, yeah, everyone's gonna love the relationship with him and her. I forgot what's her name, but <laughs> yeah. But the relationship with the raptor and him is better. Well, speaking of blue, there's actually a blue out there dancing to oh. the DJ. So make sure you check her out. But I'm about to go watch this movie. But thank you so much for talking to us. Yeah, no really appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So, hey, guys, I want to show you the original costume that Chris Pratt wore for Jurassic World. And if you walk over here, you could see Bryce Dallas Howard original costume that she wore for Jurassic World. So like I said, the movie's about to start. I'm going to go get some popcorn. So make sure that you guys watch Jurassic World, which is out this weekend. Hey, girl. You think what I'm thinking? Genetic power has now been unleashed. You can't put it back in the box. Blue! If I don't make it back, remember you're the one who made me come here. I'll be all right. So we're at the Universal we City Mall Theater. We're in two minutes, and I'm so excited to see it. Finds a way. We'll be back with more buzz after this. But I'll wait for you. hours. After I had my brain surgery, I have never taken dance for granted. You are the star on that stage. So you think you can dance all new Monday at 8, 7 central on Fox. The 2018 Radio Disney Music Awards celebrates some of pop music's top acts. Megan Trainer and a bunch of our other favorites were at the Dolby Theatre in some super cool fashion. We were on the red carpet, so let's take a look. Forty-five years, the youngest in forty-five years to be signed to a major label record deal, and I'm blessed to be on Blake Shelton's label in Warner Music Nashville. Uh, just so happy to have them behind me, supporting me, and I, I still can't get over it. Still have to pinch myself. I sometimes get speechless about it, and you know, it's it's crazy. Well, Carrie is here. Have you met her yet? I haven't. She walked past me at the ACM Awards, and I about done cried. So I am looking forward to meeting her. So if you see me like looking all over the place, I'm looking for her. I'm looking for her too. We're all fans, girl. So who's your music inspiration? Carrie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've always wanted to be at the Radio Disney Music Awards. I I can't believe I haven't been since. I remember with this new album, I got to have a meeting at Radio Disney, and I told them like I'll perform right away and that's kind of how this happens and and they 
luckily they agreed and let me come here. So um, I'm honored to be here. This is a big bucket list dream for me. Oh, I love Disney. I love Radio Disney. I listen to it all the time, and they play my music. So this is a very special moment for me and my family tonight. I mean, honestly, when they told me about the Icon Award, I was like, I feel like I, I'm gonna try and earn it because I think that's such a big word. Like, you know, my icons like being Aretha, like, you know, Cher, Reba, like Annie Lennox. Like, so I don't really fit in that category to me. So um, I guess my goal tonight is to earn it, the award. So heard a little bit of what y'all were doing over there and amazing angelic what are you guys working on i know i was like i want them to sing for me but i can't ask you guys to do it twice so i'm gonna be polite but uh what are you guys working on right now we uh we're doing a bunch of radio shows we actually flew back this morning at 3 a.m from a uh, radio show uh, i don't even know what day it was was that last night i think so yes, it, was, it was in buffalo it was super fun a ton of bodies pulled up it was sick um <laughs> and then we uh we, we got a american idol tour coming up what is funny uh, and then a headline tour right after that, and then new song dropping on the 13th. Of July. So just like July. okay, things, bro. Yeah, it's so stuff Aside from stuck in the middle, it's a huge hit. What else are you working on right now? Elena of Avalor. Uh, that's too, so much fun. And then I also am working on something under the wraps. But I also want to become a director, so I'm kind of studying up on that and working on that. Director, that's a big title. What are you, what, a director of like feature films, of TV series, or just any kind of experience you're willing right now? I want to do it all. Right now, I'm going to shadow a TV show, but uh, film, I think, is my main goal. Whose performance are you looking forward to seeing tonight? Carrie Underwood, just because I saw a little bit of her rehearsal, and it was incredible, so I'm excited to see the rest. I can't imagine seeing her live. She has the voice of an angel. There's no mistakes. There's nothing. Nothing. It sounds just like um, on the radio. to seeing tonight? Uh, Kelly Clarkson, big fan of Kelly. Um, uh, Kelly. And then Charlie Puth, should be really cool. Would you like to do a collab with Charlie Puth? I feel like that would be a good combo right there. We've written with his brother Stephen uh, on our album After Next. So yeah, it'd be cool to write with Charlie as well, yeah. yeah. Album After Next, you guys have already got <laughs> another one. Four weeks, yeah. I know, it's all going on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what's it called? We haven't got a name yet. Oh. Next one, like the actual next one, comes out in like three weeks, so that's exciting. What is the likelihood? I promise, I'm not. I wouldn't be like y'all are looking like no, 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 no. no. <laughs> what is the likelihood that you guys are also talented though? That's crazy. It's funny. Our, our mom was a singer. Our dad was a b-boy back in the '80s, like a break dancer. So put it together, you get us crazy bunch yes. singing and dancing. So best we have of both we, worlds. Best of both Thank worlds. You. We're just so lucky, so blessed to have such supported, uh, supportive parents um, that have been through, uh, been with us, you know, since throughout this since day one. So. <laughs> what is the project you guys are working on right now? So we, so right now we're Radio Disney's NBT, and just within, within that in itself is such a huge honor. We're going to be doing a lot more summer shows with them, um, releasing new music. So yeah, definitely lots to look out for. Videos, new videos, tours. Let's go. So many. Right now, the people can look out for. We just released a single right back with you. We just released the music video for it. Go watch it. It's so colorful, so fun. I think you'll like it a lot. I'm sure I will, cause you guys, the style and everything. I'm like, oh, I feel like I'm feeling it. You, you can match with us. Yeah. Oh, can I be in the group? So I just, um, I've been working on a whole new project and working with such an amazing caliber of talent and people like Orphanage who just did Demi Lovato's record and just amazing producers and writers and really finding my sound and I, I found a direction that's really true to me. I just released my single last month and performed at the Today Show and, and it's, been, it's been a dream come true. I've been touring and it's awesome. We are performing at the RDMAs and oh, yeah. it's really exciting because we're playing our new song Over My Head and we're also going to sneak a little bit of Cool Kids in there just to give everyone like a here you go. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited. We're also nominated, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see what goes. happens. Hi, my name is Elle Winter, and you've just been buzzed.
stay. 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 I was made for love and the name it gave me. Stay. I was made for the great experiences of life. I was made for trying to write songs that my mom will like. I was made to be a sister and a friend to my five siblings. I was made for good books, good coffee. I was made to be a daughter, a sister, a wife, a mom. To be a writer, to be furiously kind and relentlessly gentle. For experiencing wonder and awe at the world I live in. My family, my friends, my husband, my son. I was made for sunsets and better days to come. I was made for a second chance. I was made for so much more than my darkness ever wanted me to believe. I was made to play. I was made to learn. I was made to love. I was made for being Backpack's best friend. Positivity. For happiness. For reigniting the flame inside of people. For saving lives and holding the hands of those in crisis. I was made for being a husband someday. I was made to see the world. To be a daughter and a sister. Stay. I was made for change. I was made for inspiring females to follow their dreams. For melody, for rhythm, for harmony, for mistakes. Stay. I was made for my little boy. Stay and rest. Stay and see things change. Stay to love and be loved. Stay to be surprised. Stay and sing your song. I was made to remember that despite the condition of the soil, I will choose to bloom. I am going to stay. I was made for a reason, and I don't quite know what it is yet, but I'm going to be here to find out. is climbing the charts with his new rock star famous release. He talks to us about the album and gives us an update on his buddy Travis Barker who recently had a health scare. So let's check it out. It's the end of Van's Warped Tour. I mean last year I um, I came out here with Mod Sun and we shot the video for my song Warped Tour which is really cool. Um, I'm just really honored that I got to catch a Warped Tour and be able to play on it before it ended. Um, so I'm really happy that that they, you know, took a chance on me and brought me out for this date and now I'm getting to play the show. It's not over though, man. It's going to live forever. It's yeah. it's what they've built and and the bands that have come from this. There's I know so many so many different artists and different bands that um, you know, started in a band that kind of came from Warped Tour and then now they're a little older and they're kind of doing a new project. It's it's in it's it, I think it's it's in everybody's blood. If you've been around Warped Tour, if you've been in a band that's played Warped Tour, or if you just grew up going to Warped Tour, listening to Warped Tour bands, it's it's in your blood. So it's not going anywhere. It's gonna live forever. Rockstar famous, yeah. That's that's my baby. That's that's my child. I spent better part of a year and a half, you know, crafting that and making it perfect. And I feel like last time we talked, I just put out Quit. Yes. Um, so Quit's been doing well. It's it's been it's been climbing, and and the rest of the project is I'm really happy with it. I've never been I've never been more happy with um, a body of work in my life. I've never put more effort and time into perfecting something in my life. So it's kind of the um, it's it's the that's I mean Glowing Pains was my entry, but like this is my real like yo this is this is what I'm capable of. Like this is how good it can get. Um, obviously I plan on you know getting better and. And growing, but like this, this is like the first fully solid project that that everything is exactly how I wanted it. Took no exceptions, didn't cut any corners. Really, just kind of nailed it all the way home. I'm writing all the time, so I'm not even like that worried about it. Cause you know, I just even even some of the songs that I that are on Rockstar Famous are like a year old. So I've been writing songs since then. I already have some songs that I think might be for the next project. So I'm never worried about that. There's never a lack of inspiration. Um, I do a pretty good job at surrounding myself with things that inspire me. So I'm always finding something new to write about, sing about, you know, just 
talk about whatever it is. So, um, the ne I mean, I, but mentally, I'm not even fully prepared for the next project. I'm still in Rockstar Famous mode. It's been it's been less than a month, so I'm just like that was an unfair question. Yeah. exactly, yeah. Oh but you know, there sometimes there are those moments where you're like, "Fuck, I did this so well. How do I top it?" But right. I trust myself. In due time, I'll I'll top it. Typical Lil Aaron show. Well, it's it's not typical. I'll tell you that much. Okay. Um, right now, it's it's kind of more of a stripped down set. It's me and a guitarist, and then I have my backing tracks. So it's going to be a lot of energy. I like to bring the energy. Um, I like to interact with the crowd and make, really get people hype. But I also don't like to waste time. I'm like I'm trying to get the songs out. I'm trying to get there and play the songs. Um, Try to fit as many dope songs as I can in the you know 20, 25 minute set. So it's it's high energy, it's jam packed. I think a lot of people, if if you're lukewarm about me, you're gonna either come to the show and leave hating me or loving me, and I love that. So after Warp Tour, I'm gonna be playing festivals the rest of the year. Um, got some possible tours lined up. We'll see what happens. It's all it's all up in the air. There's gonna be some cool. Sh I'm definitely gonna be playing shows, so I'll be around. Buddy Travis, have you talked to him since the, the hospital was scared? Yeah, I was with him last night. He's he seemed he seemed you know in good faith. So he's he's I think he, he'll be fine. But I mean, everybody should definitely keep them in his thoughts. Um, it's, it's a bummer that they had to cancel those shows, but I think he's gonna pull through. I, I'm I'm pretty certain that he he has the willpower to get through just about anything. Social media, I'm pretty much everywhere online. I'm Lil Aaron 911. It's L I L A A R O N 911. I know you think that you fly the way you came in, but I could go and change your life if you my main bitch. Cause oh, oh, oh I'm rock star famous. Oh, oh, oh I'm rock star famous. Yeah. Drinks are free, drugs are free, girl. Just come with me. I run. So guys, that's all we have. Thank you so much for watching. A special thanks to Vans Warp Tour, The Dolby, As It Is, Little Erin, and all the stars who stopped by to talk to us at the Radio Disney Music Awards. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, double tap on Instagram, and follow us on Twitter, all at the New Music Buzz. I'm Chanel Herlin. Have a lekker day. Life has been coming at you fast. How do you prepare for that? Um, I have the right people that, that make me be grounded, you know, because sometimes you lose yourself, and that's the most important thing is to have people that around you that are good influence in your life and that's I mean I don't even you know sometimes you the new music buzz is brought to you by monster products pure monster quality with monster sound for more music entertainment news go to www.thenewmusicbuzz.com